Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is meant by instance in Java? Let me answer. Instance is an another name for object in Java. Okay, you can either call the object as instance or instance as object. So what is instance in Java? In simple words, instance is nothing but object. So instance is equal to object in Java. Okay, so we can say creating an object for a class or we can say creating an instance for a class. Both are same guys. Instance and object, both are same. Creating an object for a class, creating an instance for a class. Sometimes we only use the word instance. Sometimes we only use the word object. For example, creating an object. Most of the times when you are creating an object for the class, you will say creating an object. More, uh, we don't actually say creating an instance for the class. Most of the cases, okay? We can say so, but still, okay, as per the notation, like how the people, developers are there, they keep using the word like creating an object for the class. But coming to the variables and methods, we often call them as, you know, instance variables, instance methods. But object variables, object methods, very less people may call, but uh, I didn't see someone calling variables and methods as object variables and object methods, rather, all the times I've seen people calling this uh, variables and methods created under the class without the static keyword as instance variables and instance methods, okay? So the terminology, guys, just this is just the terminology. Instance is another terminology or word or name that we use in place of object, okay? In different circumstances while writing the Java program, in some cases we use object as a word and in some cases we use instance as a word, okay? So I'll just uh, demonstrate something for you, practical demonstration I'll do. In some situations where we use object as a notation while speaking and uh, where we use instance as a kind of name while using, okay, in place of the object. Both are same though. So, fine. I'll just uh, do one thing. I'll just uh, delete uh, or, you know, or make this a uh, class, okay. So, fine. There is a class, let's say, public class, class name, or I'll, or I'll do one thing. I'll just create one more class. So, I'll just create uh, another class. Mm, example class, example class, okay? So just click on the class got created. Inside this class, I'll create a variable, some variables and methods, okay? Int A is equal to 10, and I'll say static int B is equal to 20, okay? Static B is equal to 20. And then I'll create a method, public void sample A method, Okay, or sample one method otherwise, sample one method. Okay, and I'll create some print statement inside sample one method. Okay, I'll create one more method. Let's say this time I'll just create a static method, public static void sample two. Okay, intentionally I'm creating some variables and methods here. Here I'll write down, here I'll write down inside inside sample two method like this i'll write down okay two variables and two methods okay so in this okay in this this particular variables here are the global variables these variables are created directly under the class but these are both are global variables okay a is a global variable and b is a global variable but there is a small difference between these global variables one of the global variable which is not specified with static keyword is an instance variable Okay, it's an instance, instance variable or instance global variable you can call. Whereas a variable, which is also a global variable, but specified with static keyword is a static variable. It's a static variable. So what's the difference between the, uh, these two are global variables, but one is an instance variable, another one is a static variable. So that, uh, the thing is, when you say instance means, the value of this particular variable will be stored in which memory? Instance memory. Instance means object memory. So we generally don't say this as object variable. Rather, we'll say instance variable. So instance means object, guys. In other words, instance is object. So the value of this particular variable will be stored in the object's memory, okay? Object memory of this particular class. Whatever the object you are going to create for this class, right? In that object's memory, this value of this variable will get stored. Whereas this variable, which is also a global variable, 
when mentioned with static keyword becomes a static global variable and uh, the value of this particular variable will be stored in the class memory whatever the class in which you are creating this variable as static right the class will be allocated some memory in that memory of the class the value of this variable will be, will be stored okay so this is not an instance variable it is a static variable because it does it is a non uh, non object oriented type okay so the uh, non not non object it's a not an instance variable kind of okay it's nothing related to object kind of thing okay so it belong to the class memory it belongs to the object memory kind of stuff. fine and coming to the these two methods this method doesn't have static keyword so the this program will be stored in which memory again object memory okay we generally call this method as instance method okay instance is the word we are using here instance is another word we are using for object instead of saying object memory we are saying instance memory okay most of the people will say instance variable and instance method okay whereas this method has a static keyword and it belong to the class memory okay fine now i'll create one more class i'll just name this class as demo class and with main method and all now in this class if i have to create an object for this example class let's say for this example class in order to access the members of this example class if i want to create an object here okay how i have to create using the new keyword i have to create an object example class new example class i have to say okay ec is equal to i'll simply say example class this statement is called as object creation statement okay here we are creating an object for example class here most of the cases developers will not say that we are creating an instance for the class even though that is also right but even though instance is another word for object in some situations we use the instance key instance uh, word in naming okay or terminology or convention whereas in some cases we use object convention here you see created an object for the example class we say but not created an instance for the example class okay as per the naming we can say so it's not wrong but um, most of the cases we say create an object for the example class okay this will say as instance variable instead of object variable this will say as instance method instead of object method okay like that some cases we call it as instance some cases we will call it as object so that's what is the difference guys okay so what is meant by instance in java hope you got a clear clarity on instance means object in some cases in java programming instead of saying object we call it as instance like instance variable and instance method in some cases instead of saying instance we call it as an object like creating an object for the class etc etc so sometimes object sometimes instance both are same though okay so with practical demonstration i have answered this question for you so that's all for this session thank you bye bye